How are the vectors looking? The same as they did 15 minutes ago? Will you relax? Sorry, I get a little jumpy coming into this section of the belt. Everything looks fine. We're coming into the belt now. No collisions detected on the computer. See? Everything is fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Unless something catastrophic happens. Ugh, why would you say that? Ah, I'm just kidding. Everything is... Full stop! Huh. Actually, it looks like there might be a problem on one of the lower decks. I told you. What's going on? Nothing serious. Looks like a pressure drop. I'll get engineering down to fix it. All of the engineers are at Sector 1 working on... Well, you know. Ah, no matter. Hand me the directory. I'll get some chump to work on it. Also, why is the ship bobbing up and down? Not on the ocean. About time you picked up! The log here says that your shift started two hours ago. Uh... Are... are you lying on the floor? Uh... Oh, come on! Get up! This is all that we have available? Ah, <laughs> fine. Weapons Officer First Class Tommy Tektite, correct? Uh, Second Class. My promotion test is next week. We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, aren't we? Anyway, the only people left aboard Asteroid Vehicle 4 are either mandatory personnel or... Those who were so useless their supervisors forgot about them. So, that makes me mandatory personnel, right? Uh, anyway, to the matter at hand. We seem to have a pressure drop down in Deck 17, and you're the only one available. I need you to head down there and handle it, okay? I'm no engineer. I don't know the first thing about fixing an air leak. Listen, Tom, you have to have some kind of degree to be a weapons officer, right? It was more of an apprentice. So you're smart enough to figure out a simple air leak. Get down there and figure it out. We're kind of busy navigating through an asteroid field. I don't even know the first thing about. You'll do great. Helm, out. A government issue, standard bunk. My own personal window. I am living in the lap of luxury on Deck 13 of Asteroid Vehicle 4. They don't let us bring too many extra belongings aboard AV4. But I managed to bring these along. On second thought, the uniform I'm already wearing is still mostly clean. These are notes for my upcoming lieutenant exam. I've got the weapon systems down, but everything else is kind of jumbled right now. That's a manual for a Sigma torpedo launcher. Just a cabinet with a few of my belongings. Those are controls for the shutter. Ah, space. Same old asteroid belt, though. Sure is a lot of junk floating around out there. This console lets me get in contact with other people on the ship. Most people just use it to yell at me, though. Hmm, what's that doing there? Not really sure how it made its way over here, but I'm glad I found it. I've asked everyone I've ridden in the elevator with, and nobody knows what that is. Some kind of fire suppression unit? Either way, I don't trust it. Great, now it recognizes me.
Well, I'm not dead yet, so there must still be air down here. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that's the reason for the lowered O2 on this deck. Even though it's a big crack, it seems as if the ship being built directly into the asteroid has kept this section from explosively decompressing. Which I appreciate. Thanks, asteroid. Most of our non-recyclable waste is compacted and tossed out into the belt. All kinds of tools and equipment. Nothing really interesting or useful that I can see. I'm not an expert, but that's one fine looking cart. Huh, looks like it's locked. Ah, the reactor room. I tingle at the thought. It's either excitement or some kind of radiation leakage. Some kind of wire sticking out. The engineers on Deck 17 sure don't sweat the little things. Apparently, 3C251 tubes are always supposed to go around 3D251 tubes. Great. I'll never use that information. Those transport refrigerant around the ship. I think there are some weapons on Deck 42 that use this same system. Looks like the O2 levels are getting pretty low. I should take care of that. There are a ton of fingerprints all over the screen. Gorgon, please stop touching the screen. You keep leaving greasy fingerprints. Gorgon... The name on the glass says Wilco. The name on the display says Mate. The name on the glass says Roger. Some kind of control console. Showing all kinds of weird statistics about Deck 17. Uh, that didn't work too well. Hmm, what's that? Is that an X-Blaster V3.5 with collapsible stock and adjustable iron sights? It's with variable outputs and settings for stun and full-on disintegration? Banned in almost all solar systems save for the most war-torn, violent, unpoliced areas? Nah, it's just a mop. Some kind of fuse box, I guess? No thanks! The last time I broke into a fuse box, it was a shocking experience. A family of rabbit space weasels had taken up residence inside the box. I was surprised, to say the least. Looks like a couple of electrical cabinets. Nothing very exciting. Ooh, what a view! Luckily, the force fields keep me from being sucked out into space. The engineers on Deck 17 haven't finished this section of the corridor. Uh, what is that? Some kind of key attached to a brick? Deck 17 engineers are weird. It's just out of reach. I'll have to smack it with something. Just a quick little swipe. Well, I've got a key attached to a brick now. Hooray!
Hey, that's a great idea. I wish all doors were that easy to unlock. I'll just reach in here and... There we go. Might as well keep this handy. Even their own repair shop has issues. People say I have sticky fingers. Is this what they mean? No wonder nothing gets fixed around here. They never open anything. It's a despicable thing to steal another hardworking person's tools. Yoink. Looks like they're designing new types of section for the asteroid ship. A box full of random tools. I don't recognize half of these. Some kind of drafting board. The schematics look quite complicated. Lots of pieces of paper taped to the wall. Mostly towards a guy named Gorgon and touching screens. There's one on the right there that looks interesting. Gorgon, if you forget the code to the maintenance locker again, it's up to the note I left you near the elevator. Huh. I'll remember that. I think that note in the repair room mentioned these reminder notes. Hmm, let's see here. It says, Gorgon, the code of the maintenance locker is the optimum core temperature of the main engines of the asteroid ship. Below that, come on, you should know this. And below that, ah, fine, the number's 2112. I'll just take this. Let's see, two, one, one, two. Bingo! <sighs> this should do nicely. They're not nailed down, so that means it's fair game, right? Disregarding that they were in a locked container, of course. Chief, I accidentally threw away my wiring kit, so I borrowed yours. I owe you. I don't need to take this scrap of paper. Uh, I just can't go willy-nilly throwing everything I hold into a breach in the hole. Oh wait, the directions here say throw willy-nilly into a hole breach. Well, let's see what it does. Uh, did it work? Wow, that was surprisingly easy. No wonder there aren't any engineers around. Everything is designed to be as dummy-proof as possible. Well, I'd call that a job well done. I should go report to the helm. The O2 leak has been fixed. You know, the pink color's growing on me. Good choice. Hard as a rock. Unable to connect to other decks. Please wait for engineering to resolve the problem. Estimated wait time. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 hours. Thank you for your patience. Uh, what is going on?
Yes, this'll do. And who do we have here? Uh, I'm Tommy. Weapons officer, second class. I didn't know we had any engineers aboard. Oh, there aren't any. With the tests they're running in Sector 1, they're all conveniently away. Then, who are you? Isn't it obvious? I'm a saboteur. I'm stealing the core from the reactor. Hey, you can't do that! I'm not allowed to do it, but I most definitely can do it. Uh... As a member of the Space Corps, I demand you stop! <laughs> you can try to stop me, but trust me, it won't go well. Er, I... uh... Enough with your stammering! There is a nice little bomb next to the reactor. Enough of a charge to explode this ugly ship into a hundred pieces. I've hacked into the woefully underprotected circuits on this deck, and you won't be able to call for help or flee. But why are you telling me this? I'm not a complete monster. Make peace with whatever gods you worship. You won't have much time. Uh, is there something else? Uh, you're in the way. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I can't just let the ship explode. I need to deactivate that bomb. I need to be outside the airlock to use that panel. I need an ID card to open this door. Access denied. I'm not allowed into the reactor. I'll have to modify my ID card somehow if I want to get in there. The dopamine rush of picking up everything that isn't nailed down is definitely hard-wired into my brain. Warning, the waste ejection system, WES, is dangerous and should only be operated by trained personnel. Safety locks are engaged, but are not foolproof. Hmm, I guess this isn't the West Crusher version. It just buzzes at me angrily. Must have already ejected the trash pod. This is way out of my range of expertise. I don't even know what a pin particle is. Fingerprint not recognized. It doesn't react favorably to my finger. That's one juicy fingerprint. I'm going to snag it. Got it, in all its greasy glory. It's beautiful. What a piece of art. Welcome, Engineer Gorgon. 
Master of Engineering, what can I do for you today? I'd like to edit an ID card. Of course. The only available option to edit of Tommy Tektite is current occupation. Would you like to continue? Yes. Excellent. What would you like Tommy Tektite's new occupation to be? Change my ID card to engineer, please. Processing. Please state the following. Deck level of desired engineer. Deck 17. Acknowledged. Engineering expertise? Engines. I like to make those puppies purr. Acknowledged. Which section? 349, of course. Acknowledged. Processing entered information. Processing. Information accepted. ID card updated. I don't think my ID card... Is everything on this deck broken? There are a couple of screws holding it together. I bet I could jimmy it open. Uh, I bet if I shorted this out, it would open the door. Whoa! I'll just close this back up. Should be good to go now. Radioactive waste. Do not open. Some kind of wire kit. It says, Property of Master Engineer Gorgon on it. Well, one man's trash and another man's treasure. It doesn't smell too great. More trash, ready to find its forever home, strewn out across the universe. This is where it belongs. I don't need to be dragging trash all over the ship. ID card accepted. I'm guessing these are here in case the reactor gets a leak or something. Hmm, here's a crazy idea. If the reactor gets a leak, I should stay very, very far away from it. It's just some airlock controls. Nothing special. I can't see that from here. Oh, great, it's some kind of crude bomb. I recognize it as a crude industry set and forget. I think I have a manual that includes this version of my bunk room. I've read about this model before, but I don't remember enough without actually having the manual. That's the reactor. I really don't think it should be spitting out all kinds of sparks like that. That robot guy already took something from it. I really don't want to mess it up any further. Hmm, let me peruse my extensive collection. Oh, there's the bomb manual. Let me just snag this bomb manual. Perfect. With this, I'll be able to make a lot of... Uh, I mean, defuse that bomb.
Let's see. Step one, clip red wire. Okay, that seems simple enough. Well, the bomb and indirectly me didn't explode, so we're on the right track. Step two, clip yellow and blue wire. This is pretty easy. <laughs> I could totally be a space core ordinance disposal. I should probably follow the instructions in the book. Step three, using triaxial wire, disconnect each wire in a series, starting with the blue-green wire. Then rewire each wire to Omega Wire Cabling Standard, found in the glossary in the back of this manual. Keep voltage load stable across each wire with couplings as you wire to the correct spec. Finally, intentionally short the green and red wire to the blue-green wire using a twisted pair wire that can withstand at least 22 volts. Okay, this is getting a bit complicated. I'm going to need a wiring kit. Well, here goes nothing. Step 12. Realign the containment cores to three quarters of their original alignment. Making sure to take into account whether it is before or after the winter solstice. <sighs> Only 13 more steps to go! <laughs> Bomb disarmed. With a little ingenuity, some strong willpower, and step-by-step and -step instructions, you can do anything you set your mind to. That's the reactor. I really don't think it should be spitting out all kinds of sparks like that. Oof. It took a lot of time and effort to disarm that bomb. Oh, oh no. Huh, it's giving some kind of error. Unable to connect to other decks. Please wait for engineering to resolve the problem. Estimated wait time. Nine, nine. Uh, what is going on? With my luck, I'd break it and I'd be stuck in the elevator. Better not. Uh, that's not good. Bomb activated. Hey, wait, I just disarmed you.
Well, well, well. I didn't expect you to disarm that bomb. You seem the type to scurry off and hide in a broom closet. Until your pitiful little life ended. <laughs> no matter. I've completely sealed the doors to the reactor now. We'll no longer be able to fiddle with my machinations. You only have minutes. Do with them what you please. Wait! Why are you doing this? Why steal the core and kill hundreds of innocent people? Innocent? Ha! <laughs> you Space Corps cowards seek nothing but to squeeze the life force from everything you come in contact with. I aim to stop that. But how? What will one measly ship core do for you? Oh, oh, oh. it's not just one, it's... Hey, are you trying to get me to reveal my plan? Uh... <laughs> Even though you'll become atomized into a fine mist within the next few minutes, you and your ilk are not privy to my intentions. Now, I will take my leave. Enjoy your next few minutes of life. Hey, wait! Well, there he goes. There aren't any escape pods on this deck. They haven't finished this section yet. I suppose this will have to do. Should I get in and leave? That bomb is going to go off any second. I've got to get out of here. I can't believe that damn robot got the best of me. How was he able to defeat Space Corps Firewalls so easily? I can think about this later. If I don't get out of here soon, I'll get blown to bits by the blast wave as soon as that bomb explodes. It's just some airlock controls. Nothing special. Pod successfully ejected from Asteroid Vehicle 4. Ooh. Okay, as long as the bomb doesn't explode for another minute or so, I'll be safe. Uh, what did we just eject? Don't have anything scheduled for today. Uh-oh, I'm getting weird power fluctuations on 17. Who did you send? I don't know, some random loser weapons officer. Uh, I think it's over. Uh-oh, that's not good. Ugh. I don't know what's more unpleasant. Slamming my face into the walls of this disgusting trash pot? Or a barrel of radioactive waste resting on my lap? These pods have distress signals. If I can just reach that control panel again, I can signal for help. Ah, it's disgusting! Who knows what kind of trash has been dumped in this thing? Oh, 
almost. Just about there. Gotcha! That could work, but it won't stay attached. Hmm, if I wrap this around this... Well, now it's got some wire wrapped around its end. Ooh, that should work. If the pin is mightier than the sword, I fear that this pin mop has no limit to its power! Venting atmosphere from Pod. Hey! No, that's not what I wanted! I knew someone that could hold their breath for 10 minutes, but that is not my skill set. Initiating smooth jazz protocol. What? Why is that even a thing? Initiating rescue beacon. Don't panic. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know if it's the lack of oxygen, but this smooth jazz is really starting to do it for me. Uh, I might just take a quick nap while I wait to be rescued. Am I dead? Oh wait, I know what this is. This is the end of the demo. No wonder, look how shoddy this microphone is. The developer probably didn't want to pay his animator to draw a proper end scene. Hope you enjoyed this first taste of the game. I hope to see you when it's finished. Thanks for playing. Now I exit stage left. Oh wait, this is stage right. I always get that confused. Toodles! Yeah.